appropriate technology to decarbonize its operations. The NNPC is accelerating the commercial exploration of our hydrocarbon reserves, especially gas, and lay the foundation to develop other renewable sources of energy. In 2020, amidst the uncertainty of the COVID pandemic, the NNPC launched the construction of Ajaukuta, Kaduna and Kano pipelines to create a guaranteed gas supply network across the country. In the same year, consolidating on its commitment to cutting global emissions and fostering green energy, the federal government and NNPC rolled out the National Gas Expansion Program, which involves converting fuel-powered cars and generators from petrol to gas. This program, when fully actualized, will make Nigeria the first choice source for cheaper and cleaner energy, positioning the country as a global gas-enabled industrial nation. In August 2021, for the first time in its 44-year history, the NNPC declared a profit after tax of 287 billion naira for the 2020 financial year. Soaring on the wings of success, in the same month, President Mohamedou Buhari signed the Petroleum Industry Bill. This act brought a close to the long fight for reforms in the oil and gas sector, creating an environment more conducive for the growth of the industry in Nigeria. All these bold achievements in the NNPC would not have been possible without the company's constant drive towards innovation and growth, hiring the brightest talents around Nigeria, coupled with its enabling work environment that encourages vision and innovation. With the giant stride and pivotal role the NNPC has played for the past 45 years in the history of Nigeria, it is clear that NNPC has contributed to Nigeria's depth and growth. As the NNPC reintroduces itself as a limited liability company to the world, it is positioned to be the leading provider of clean and sustainable energy in the country, taking giant strides to decarbonize Nigeria. NNPC will ensure security of energy supply to the people of Nigeria and to the world, maintaining Nigeria as the reliable energy supplier while also championing the future of green, safe, and sustainable energy in Africa. NNPC is ready to take on the world. Tomorrow. The story, the history, the trajectory, and the journey. Your Excellencies, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, did we hear profit after tax? Over 200 billion naira. First time in over 40 years. Fantastic. 44, in fact, if I caught that documentary right. Absolutely correct. We truly thank you once again for joining us as we enter a new trajectory of history. As we begin the motion for growth and development, the continuation of the work that the NNPC has been doing over the years. NNPC Limited, energy for today, energy for tomorrow. It is a rebirth. Richmond? Indeed, an unwavering motion, a true rebirth. For 45 years and counting, NNPC weaves into the very fabric of the Nigerian economy, a national oil company that has grown across the hydrocarbon value chain. Indeed. For those who are watching us around the world live, His Excellency, Mr. President, and many of our distinguished guests have already toured the museum of yesterday. If you have not been, it is highly recommended. Richmond and I have been, and believe me, it is something that is totally out of this world to see the growth and to see the development. It is important to always remind ourselves that for every success we've attained as a country and as a company in the oil and gas industry, NNPC has played a leadership role and has guided us right. NNPC has built our reserves to over 37 billion barrels of oil and over 200 trillion cubic feet of proven gas reserves. 
Can you believe it, Eugenia? Indeed. Um, NNPC also has the largest network of retail stations across the country and a footprint that touches all our host communities. Amazing. We're the largest corporate contributor to the Nigerian economy. We've also, we have so much to be proud of. So, speaking about footprints, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to welcome an amazing man to join us up here. A man whose leadership has taken NNPC to new heights and has indeed made some tremendous strides. Please help me welcome the group CEO of NNPC Limited, Malam Mele Kerry. <laughs> Body, Mr. President, and the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is profound honor and privilege to welcome you to this historic event that heralds a new beginning for the energy industry in our country and also indeed for the world. Mr. President, our journey could not have been possible without the purposeful and determined leadership to act and bring to closure the over 20 years of pursuit for the transformation of energy sector by, by you, Mr. President. Mr. President, also, I would like you to kindly permit me to recognize the gracious presence of the distinguished Senate President and distinguished Senators present here, and also that of the Right Honorable Speaker and all members of the House of Representatives present here, members of the Federal Executive Council present here, His, His Excellency, the Chairman of the Governors Forum and other Executive Governors present here, the Chief of Defense Staff and members of the Nigerian Armed Forces, the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, heads of government agencies, members of the diplomatic community and ministers of other nations present here, executives of national and multinational oil companies, chairman and members of the Board of Directors of the NNPC Limited, distinguished business leaders, our guests from Nigeria and abroad, and members of the press. It is a great honor that I welcome everyone to the unveiling of the NNPC Limited to the world, marking our new beginning and our covenant to deliver greater value to our over 200 million shareholders. We are grateful, Your Excellency, Mr. President, for your insightful leadership and sustained commitment to the growth and prosperity of our great nation. History has continued to record your exceptional visions and lasting positive impacts they make. For us in the energy sector, Your Excellency, we, perish, we cherish your informed decision that created NMPC as a corporation in 1977. The courageous reforms you have instituted with the passage of the Petroleum Industry Act 2021, the leadership and direction you have given us in creating a viable and commercially driven energy company, and your kind presence today to unveil yet another promise to our nation and to the world. We'll continue to be grateful to your, for your legacy, Mr. President, and we are for consistently transforming the Nigerian petroleum industry at different times over the span of 45 years. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all of us in NNPC Limited are profoundly grateful for your kind presence at this great moment in the history of our company. The day, Mr. President, will unveil our dynamic and commercially driven energy company with focus on value creation for all stakeholders while sustainably delivering energy to the world. This indeed is a new day, a new hope and a new opportunity to upscale our relevance in the global energy community as Africa's largest energy company, endowed with the best human resources one can find anywhere in the industry. 
NMPC Limited is positioned to lead Africa, Africa's gradual transition to new energy by deepening natural gas production to create low carbon alternatives and positively change the story of energy poverty at home and around the world. Your Excellency, Mr. President, we have taken a strategic initiative to achieve our mandate of ensuring energy security for our country by rolling out a comprehensive expansion plan to grow our fuel retail presence from the 547 to over 1,500 outlets within the next six months. Our drive for organizational sustainability is hinged on our renewed commitment to partnerships that deliver sustainable value to all with integrity. Our established governance framework, systems, processes, a new culture are designed to support our quest to be the global company of choice. Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my greatest pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to this historic event we are delivering energy today. We will deliver energy tomorrow. And thank you for honoring our invitation. And thank you, Mr. President. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the man of the moment has spoken. The enactment of the Petroleum Industry Act that enabled NNPC's incorporation means there is a legally binding mandate. Indeed, this is a huge and much awaited opportunity. Without further ado, may we now invite the Honorable Minister of State Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipro Silva, for his own remarks. Your Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, and also the Minister of Petroleum, the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and members of the Senate that are present here, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, and members, governors that are present here, your excellencies, honorable ministers and members of the Federal Executive Council present here, my brothers, ministers from Niger and Equatorial Guinea, and representatives of ministers from other countries, the Secretary General of APO, Captains of Industry. Let me please at this point rely on the protocols already established. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to address you here at this auspicious occasion of the presidential unveiling of NMPC limited to the world. Mr. President, a new dawn was ushered into Nigeria's oil and gas industry that fateful day of 16th August 2021, when you signed the Petroleum Industry Bill into law, making it the PIA 2021. It was a landmark achievement and victory for all Nigerians after about two decades of dashed hopes. From the onset of this administration, Mr. President never concealed his desire to create a more conducive environment for growth of the oil and gas sector and addressing legitimate grievances of communities most impacted by the extractive industry. 
while the country was waiting for the PIA, Nigeria's oil and gas industry lost about $50 billion worth of investment. In fact, between 2015 and 2019, KPMG states that only 4% of the $70 billion investment inflows into Africa's oil and gas industry came to Nigeria, even though the country is the continent's biggest producer with the largest reserves. We are setting all these woes behind us and a clear path for the survival and growth of our petroleum industry is now before us. With the PIA assuring international and local oil companies of adequate protection for their investments, the nation's petroleum industry is no longer rudderless. The PIA avails us the golden opportunity to strengthen our institutions, improve our regulatory and fiscal frameworks, and attract the much needed investment. Some of the golden opportunities presented by the reforms are coming at a time when the global energy conversation is moving towards gas as a cleaner fuel. For a country so blessed in gas like ours, we cannot be happier and more excited. Let me therefore congratulate Mr. President the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, NMPC Limited, and indeed all Nigerians for this remarkable milestone. By this singular development, Mr. President has demonstrated his unshakable commitment of emplacing the entire Nigerian oil and gas industry on the path of growth, profitability, and prosperity. One of the magnanimous provisions of the PIA which is being unveiled at this important occasion, is the transition of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation into a fully commercial entity, which will be a limited liability company, incorporated under the Companies and Allied Matters Act, to be known as NMPC Limited. The NMPC Limited will operate as a profitable commercial entity and declare dividends to its shareholders. The company will demonstrate higher levels of performance and accountability to continue to win the hearts of its over 200 million shareholders. The unveiling of NMPC Limited today is a new dawn in the quest for the growth and development of the Nigerian oil and gas industry, opening new vintages and partnerships. This is another remarkable day in which this administration, under the able guidance and leadership of President Buhari, is again matching its words with actions, with the swift implementation of the NMPC limited provision under the PIA. Mr. President, I again salute your unparalleled leadership, steadfastness, and unalloyed support towards ensuring that the country's oil and gas industry is on a sound footing to meeting the energy needs of a fast-changing world. I likewise recognize the laudable contributions of the National Assembly to the successes recorded by this administration in the energy sector. The valuable support of all the stakeholders in the Nigerian petroleum industry is also much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that expectations are high with this unveiling of NMPC Limited. Today, I have no doubt that the leadership of this brand new limited liability company is supercharged to meet the high expectations. Mr. President, sir, we thank you for your continued support for the transformation of the Nigerian oil and gas industry, and specifically for making a commercially viable national oil company, the NMPC Limited, a reality today. Energy for today, energy for tomorrow, energy for everyone. Thank you all, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.
Your Excellencies, energy for today, energy for tomorrow. Indeed, the team at the NNPC Limited is supercharged, according to the Minister, and they are at ready to take us to new heights and new levels. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the next person I'm about to introduce is mostly well known to those who love Nigeria. She has traversed the universe selling Nigeria. She is one of our most elegant performers, one of Nigeria's finest songbirds, performer, singer, songwriter, who has performed to packed audiences across the world. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, one of Nigeria's finest daughters, finest musicians, finest singers, help me welcome the formidable and 